PSG LGD. Silencer sometimes can just start to chain feed out of control. So he gets oh, hang to a root and oh, what's happening here? I have found Somnus. He's looking pretty dead. He accepts his death. Gonna be first blood going to Arme. And immediately now we see Curse is skilled. So the other thing about I was gonna say, depending on what super skills is gonna determine how much you can actually trade with the Willow. Once you skill Curse, you can't trade with Willow on the side ever again. Once you, if you're able to get Glaives in the lane, then you can actually trade. But Willow, as we know, base attack time is super fast. So Silencer struggles. 1.22 attack speed on Silencer. 1.11. So I think that lane could be quite difficult. And yeah, right off the bat, I mean, getting first blood. Gets it. None other than Ame. With that stop. Ease farm. Easy fluffy hat right away for a morphling. Seems that we're going to see Elephant come back down for, for the rune here. The battle begins. They're, they're going to respect to this time PSG. Actually, they've already split up, so. Yeah. Be able to get the two for two here on the bounty runes. and see how much they can keep that pressure off Eurus on bottom. Be too fun here for the uh, set in the, the slaining stage. It really does sound quite difficult. CK is CK is quite a beast. I know we haven't seen him too much in the offlane, but I've been hoping to see him more because he, he does so much damage. His stun is really frustrating inside a laning phase just to mess with you with CS. The, the, the mana cost has just been changed so many times, and now that Soul Ring is so valuable, you, know, you just Soul Ring and constantly keep stunning. It's yeah, very frustrating. Of course, on the top half of things, Io and this Mars, and Yang and F-Y. Can they cause a lot of issues for our male? So I'm going to be pretty safe with having Y punch I think into Y, them. yeah. Y is the one who's just going to protect. If anything, Y will die, because he's just going to eat a little bit too much damage from the spear and the rebuke at some point, but that's his job. He's just soaking the pressure so Ame can get like level three. Once Ame has three, he's got no, he should have no threat. <laughs> Already just hit with the level one trade. You see Eurus yeah. get a lot here from Jin Q and Faith Bian. And once those level twos are online, this is be a lot of kill potential. I think for PSG LGD. Yeah. You just have to uh, be pretty prepared with the regen. Just a stun into a bramble, with 200 damage yeah. every single time if they connected. So see that one? They hit the secondary one. It's just he took so 170 much. damage from it. So we'll get a bit of damage done back. Jin Q will back off, but he has the salve ready. Lane positioning though, look at this. Oh, a super has to get this pull off or this is quite a, I mean it's quite a disastrous already for Eurus having this pushing so hard. He's gonna lose a whole wave. He actually can't even get the hard cannon. Stop. Yeah, he goes to break the small camp. Essentially what but it did all the time. And look at the positioning of the lane. I mean this is miserable for Eurus. Nice. He, can't, he, know, he knows he can't really step up. Yeah, at least he has the 8 CS in comparison to Ame, who we are seeing is struggling. He only does have the 5 at the moment. Top lane, good yang. Good start in these first ones. Wow. Yeah, top lane, I mean... Ame, I guess just for being very cautious of Yang. And then five being able to close in on him and, and obviously Yang. Maybe we'll uh, right click advantage as the melee Mars. Really nice set. But they do get the pull off now. So why he does get a stacked pull. And that's going to deny a whole creep wave away from the Mars and reset the positioning for the Morphling. And Morph now has hit level 3. So Ame should feel much safer. Towards Y. That frost slow. Try and get aggressive on him. See if they can do enough damage here with the two of them, but the stomp is out. Time to, to separate one lane. Bottom. Super nearly ends up going down there. They were chasing Eurus. Now Jin Q. Look at Jin Q. He might. All the stun. Oh, oh Fate Bian. He's going to be able to save Jin Q. Stun now. comes in. He's going to be root up in a second, but they able to get quite back in on that. The teams there nearly They're losing their supports down on this bottom lane. They messed up a little bit there on the side of LGD. I think it was some uh, miscommunication. Looks like Faith Beyond wanted to go for the kill onto Super, and Shinkyu was 
kind of like second guessing himself as the root catches oh, though. Oh, it does. Super is Drag back into another root as well. Bounty, which is price. Does have four stick, but out of regen, they're gonna have to bring some extra down there. Super dangerous lane from yeah. See Med Somnus. Got on the CS. Pretty even here. Pretty good. The two of them. Yeah. I like how nothing they say doesn't even attempt to go for the uh, skewer build. It just goes for the straight farming. It's like, nope, I'm putting three points in Empower. If I get a lucky skewer and I kill him, then whatever. That would have been like some big mistake from Somnus. So he's just playing the more consistent farm. Yeah, maybe, maybe just sort of, you know, straight up respect. He's like, Probably. Somnus ain't going to get caught out by it. Yep. So, oh, bottom. Waste of skill point. Oh. Want to keep diving there. Silence ran off. Knows the Papian could have turned. Raindrop now on Super, so it can at least absorb a little bit of the damage that's coming out from either the Chaos Bolt or one of those latches. Bramble. They're, they're stabilizing that lane. They, they really are, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a Radiant's very difficult lane for tower. Elephant. Look at, they're look playing at Fate Beyond. Like, he just wants to go for Super every I mean, time. He's, he's rather low here. Um, he wanted to, I think he just wanted to die. Like, <laughs> I, I, I literally think he wanted to go back to base. He just ran into my spear! <laughs> All right, well, the oh. uh, US was able to take him down before Super went out, so Jin Q got himself some uh, nice solo XP. Right, like, that literally but, looked uh, like, like he knew he was I dying. Knew that there, was right? not a trade that you no. come out of alive. I mean, you, you, you go into that fight to die. Jin Q, you'll get the lane. You're fine with this. But you're right. I mean, they were both very low. They didn't have yeah. any regen on them. He didn't want to spend any money on regen either. I, I thought he might spend his 900 gold on, like, a Helm of Iron Will or something yeah. like that. But no, he was like... I'm buying boots, I'm buying wand, and I'm buying gloves. Time to and fight. I'm just gonna die. And I just wanna fight rather than go for farm. Very Faith Beyond esque. And this say? Double damage! In trouble here. Oh, Somnus might have this. He's got a lot of mana still. Oh, he's got no. it. And the RP gets used. Woo. Oh, well, there you have it. Somnus. He'll be smiling. And it's a that's, wave. Yeah, that's huge. Solo kill, no Dyer's RP for PSG LGD. Very nice. Now my son is in bottom lane. They're able nice. to kill off Faith Beyond again. All right, Elephant. And it's a plus two this time. And a mid lane. Why? Oh, yeah, a little Dyer's cautious. I actually really like that suit. I've been seeing a lot of these five position silencers just go 2-0-2. Two, two. In this lane, I think this is really appropriate getting one point because Chaos Knight is a hero that starves on mana. You kill him once or twice, and you take his mana away, you get him that minus two, he will start to suffer on his own. So I do like the super. Stupendous! Stacks Radiance up. Oh. Middle Tower is under oh, I actually attack. missed that stack. Careful down in the bottom lane. I mean, Euros off the back of those kills. He's pretty much, yeah, got the six. Not quite uh, as easy to punish the bear as it was before. And all three lanes done in favor of Elephant here. Yeah, and that, that, I think that's something, something to be said about that because these lanes on paper, I don't think they're easy, but Elephant. Playing very, very smart. And Yang barely missing any CS. He literally got every single one out of the tower there, even the catapult too. He's got treads, he's got double gauntlet bracer, all about the early base damage. I may not, not behind by any means. Exactly the same as the Ursa. He does have that early first blood that is helping him a lot. Bottom. IOTP coming in. And Ursa's going for this. Stomp is out. Stop the chase for now. Turn with a stun, but of course no firepower for PSG LGD to run back in on him. Yep. Faith beyond safe though, PSG LGD. Just take that walk back to base. This game certainly being slowed down now. And maybe suiciding. Well done. <laughs> As now he does have the Helm of Iron Wolf queued up anyway afterwards. More tanky this stuff. Invisibility! It's invis, but I believe the invis did not finish popping when he was walking down in the river. So that obs actually caught him. Faith time was still going. Dyer are scanning. Yang, he's set up in a really good spot though, but Ame is sitting on 1300 HP. He still would probably you die if he gets caught by the spear. 
safe. He knew that rotation was coming. So I'm just still hunting though. Checking out the jungle, seeing the stacks. Did not see the triple hard camp stack just yet. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Looking around with Eurus, but uh, a little Radiant hesitant about committing spy having the three attack. of them there. Expecting that he had the ult. Maybe could have, could have still been able to walk away with that up. Somnus is about to steal the triple stack. He's found it. Dyer's top Very tower nice. Is under attack. I'm the already having a great start with that lane, that kill. Oof, all of wise work. It's just taken away. He does find two neutral items, found himself an arcane range, found himself a shovel, sent them back to base. Now also pressuring the mag a little. But now they know those stacks are stolen, so... That's gonna be kind of sad on the side of PSG LGD, but Ame now making his way toward bottom side. He's just farming ancient since he knows his jungle's not safe. And Yang will take top tower, top tower very early. Radiant's bottom tower is under Timing attack. On his blink. And we did say that Elephant looked to pick this strategy for early game. Yeah. So if they're able to get that early blink timing, if Yuris has a good Radiant's start, they can just look to dictate pace, go Roche. Might be out. The backup of Y with the storm. TP coming in from Yang. Well, no. Get in range here for the arena. Root is out and he's, he's going to step into the route, so won't be able to close the gap now. A lot of rotations coming. Elephant. And now Ame is able to... Huh. So something you don't really see too often is the carries going back up to that top lane. Even though it's, you know, that far pushed in, it can be sometimes not safe. He knows that the Mar is ported bottom. Oh! There we go. If they got the chain locked down, they nice do. Nice fear. RP into the fear. Nothing to be done there by Somnus. Great positioning, too. There's no way he gets out of there. That port bottom was... Maybe a bit ambitious on the side of Elephant. I, it, it got seen, it got stopped, and now LGD, with that information, they made some big hits. Sending the Morph to the top to get free farm, hitting mid, killing the Storm Spirit. Evened out that game, and they're getting stacks off in the meantime from the Eve. In the triangle. Dyer's structure He's punished a tower here fight. again. They know RP is down. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Low man on the Magnus just got his bottle refilled. The tower's already gone. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Wait, beyond? Yeah. Uh, really dead. I'm just gonna pop the ult. The stun off, and that long stun might have just saved him. I mean, yeah, that's indeed. Someone's not able to dive any deeper for that one. Well, over to the side, a lose FY. Rena Zhao Yang setting up onto Jinkyu. Someone's making his way over as well. Jinkyu. We'll get taken out. Somnus, he's looking for more. He's up to the high ground. Gets the pull back onto White. Couple of kills here again. Somnus Radiant getting active across the map here and getting very involved. Radiance middle tower. I think that's a blink now attack. too. Yep. Yang's got it done. Coin for me. Super was not great. Bounty, which my matriarch would prize. Nice hits from both sides. Nothing to say is just playing the farm game. I think PSG LGD knows. Like, they know if they just play the farm game, they're going to win in the later stages. So it's really up to Elephant Radiant to dictate pace and make all these successful movements, which they have been doing. Mid tower and top tower. Mid is a really important killed. one. That is a huge courier kill. Uh -oh. That is the defusal oh, from nice. the Ursa. Wait, how did he lose his courier? Where was he? He was yes. farming was Ancients coming. on the Magnus, and he just, he just hit it. Just flying over, so they know oh, the positioning no. of the Ursa, too. Yeah. Two minutes, no yep. defusal. This whole team is smoking in the area, too. And that broom had the lever. It's on there as well. Oh, smoke gets revealed. Arcane rune on Somnus. Oh, 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 they would have two man RP. Global. Underneath the tower. Have they got any follow up, though? It didn't look like a Yang's actually able to step out of the side. FY will take him out of the fight for now. Somnus sips back as well. Uh, well, uh, quite a few ornaments. They're not really a whole lot happening there. Papian has been found here. As Yuris is able to step in. Takes down the Chaos Knight. Fear catches FY as FY goes down. Yuris. Ah, beautiful global. That would have been disastrous if that global doesn't go off. Nothing to say now, jumping in. I mean, he is, and look, yeah, he's managed to get the arena down. He's caught the three of them, but the spear's actually got a thread between all of them. Doesn't matter, Yuris still able to stay on top of targets, take down nothing to say. A look over to Jin Q, pull back with the Vortex of Somnus. Elephant, top. they'll come out on top of this fight. Big play. I honest, super. Massive global there, turning around the entire initiation of PSG LGD. They would lost both of their cores from that RP if he didn't get the global off there. Yeah, that's big.
Now Yuris, when he, whenever, whenever his courier respawns, he'll have an old clump plus the defusal. Hey. Rosh. It's right around Roche. As we said, they want to get that first Roche, dictate pace. Perfect stuff from Elephant so far here in this early yeah. game. Very nice combo break. They're a little uh, careful though with the respawns by the looks of it. Pierce GFD are oh, all up. ET is always annoying. Yeah. They should still be able to commit and finish it because they have the IO keeping the Ursa pretty much full health with that urn. And also, I did want to point out, different build we do see from FY. He's gone for two points in spirit in the laning phase, then he's going back for overcharge. Okay. And he's gone Soul Ring, urn, and then Mac. Every single time I think we've seen it played so far, it's been Holy Locket, Max Radiant's Overcharge with Max Tether. A little bit of a different style. Yuris is low, but so is Roche. We'll stick in and grab it. Aegis done, and that's the courier back up, so they'll have to fuse already to go with. They got quite a timing now. Where's his courier going? Okay. <laughs> Flying past him. Oh, bottom right, bottom. Bottom. Straight in on a fake beyond. Knows that he's pretty far out alone. He's got the backup coming in as well. FY brings in Yuris. Fake beyond will go down. He did not lose it. I keep checking to make sure. <laughs> Very important what he does is Shinkyu is going to tip the Storm Spirit. Asopis is having a hell of a game. It's 3 2 and 2, but he's been incredibly active, just forcing it movements, which is setting them up to have this successful early. Stupendous! And LDD is just, just playing farm. Oh, they're just, they're just farming. They they're going to they're gonna get picked off. They are, Yang. Another setup and catch it. Somnus. Shows his face once more. Very kill. And kills. Side of elephant. And with this Aegis too, they're very comfortable for the next few moments. That it's quite difficult for PSG LGD to get anything. So I think we're going to see just a lot of creep hitting from the side of PSG LGD for five minutes. Until they start feeling like they actually have counters to this global. Radiant's I think we will probably see them. Oh. Under attack. Yes. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> uh, not able to quite stop it. Both for Yuris will move himself down to the bottom lane, and that's about 1600 gold off the BKB. So have that coming I mean, definitely before the Aegis times out. And certainly, you know, having the opportunity to look for fights during it, Yang. Radiant River. Scanning. Out with a blink, and so PSG LGD it's avoiding any sort of conflict right now. No interest in fighting them. Yep. They do have the blink on the Magnus, so they could look to set up RPs if they see somebody split off completely on the side. But also, there's a global, so more than likely, most of the time, if you blink RPs, it's going to get covered. Follow up. Somnus. Nice. Oh, why? He's going to take himself a freebie. Why? He's away from anybody else. Another one for Somnus. I mean, why did he just like, walk in and handed his life? I, uh, yeah, he was just. Yeah, there was, he there was no him. living there. He, he saw he the was storm on the high too, ground, yeah. He just walked, continued to walk in. And they'll leave Yang top, and they'll actually pull the Storm Spirit mid with the Io instead of bringing the Mars back from farm. And Somnus wants to be in a safer spot. They're getting, I mean, they're getting real rich. This is a Bloodstone, I mean, the Honor Storm Spirit. 17 minutes in. So if they keep getting these chain kills, these sequences of kills, he's just going to continue to get stronger and stronger in this early game. Find himself a Grove Bow too. Somnus. game right now for them. What? Top. Uh, Yang's already got the setup. I mean, it's a little close to tier two though, so you see if Somna sees a chance to zip in on this. The arena's down, global as well. There's the zip forward. They've been able to catch one. Vortex track back on the ball for this counterplay. In with the RP on the two of them. They'll take down Yang. Somna's out to get out. He's starting to run low on mana. FI to skew it straight back into the splitter. Yes, yeah, GLG this time will be able to punish despite the yeah, elephant. Good jump there with the global silence. They just didn't quite have enough damage to kill our mate during that silence. Patience from honest patience from both sides there, the way they initiated. Elephant, you saw Yang jump and the Storm Spirit. Somnus was ready to jump in immediately, but he, he waited. Yeah. He hesitated because he knew there was gonna be some type of follow-up. So Somnus surviving because of that as beyond. Okay, pretty dead here. Yuris will jump over as well. He's gonna try and arm the toggle his way out. Minus two. He's actually picking up an Aether Lens, by the way, on the CK, so that he's gonna have mana and cast range always. <laughs> cast range is nice, but I think in this game too, when he's starting to lose interest in the silencer, it might be have that. An elephant's still feeling their power surge here. They've got a smoke, they're all gathered around mid. Right, is he, is he gonna go for the uh, the Octarine build? On the okay. CK? On the CK. 
that pop me possibly. I have seen it before. He it's, could just be I, it's good. I'm set. It's good. I thought he might actually do. Uh, Rush. I thought he might do Aghanims, Let's to be go. honest, because he has more fun on his team. But that's true. You... Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's a dispel. But the Octarine CK is, is, is low-key legit. I'm well, the thing... We'll wait for a second here. Shinky does go down. The thing about the Aghanim is on CK, if you do have a way to dispel the global up yourself, and then you uh, Ag Fanta... Look at yours. Yours is going in with the sage. He's got 20 seconds left on it, bear in mind. He has BKB, though, so he feels very safe. Let's see. He's, he's, I mean, I did. He's been fighting for the ages. Yeah, he's under the yeah, team, he got, too. He got skewered. I mean, he's, he was like, all right, we'll start the fight here. He's uh, just laying down an arena underneath the tier two. He'll back off. A piece He's uh, definitely created a bit of a distraction, <laughs> but uh, yeah, cost him his life. He did manage to get two kills elsewhere, and he's just now timing out. 18 Bloodstones already paying off there for Somnus. Straight back for the Orchid, and they get the tower as well out of that movement. And did they even have to use BKB? They did not. So it's still a nice second there on Eurus. I'm telling you, dude, they He's able to get, if they have like a Lotus, I'm not, you I like the Lotus and, and then you ult, and you remove all global. You remove well, global off your entire team. Uh, you get the Aether Lens, you get the Shard, and then you get the Octarine. And then that's way too much gold. Days. Way too much gold. Hey, you'll get it. You, I mean, you said, you know, PSG, <laughs> they are farming. they're farming. They are playing, and they, they found a Philly. Like, all right, we're going to farm. Look at that, they found a Philosopher's Stone as well. They like, you know, oh, let, let, me, let me get a shot of me. No, but the, the timing for them, I would say, is it's the Aghanims on the Morphin, right? He is two components with on his way down there. He's got yeah. Manta. He also finds, of course, another Shawl, which I feel like every Morphling finds. Sure, been nerfed. Still extremely strong on Morphling, especially when you're going with this build to a Willow. It's all become at lots of damage. Somnus, of course, can hit some great farm. You can see a Bloodstone into the Hex. Oh, he's going to go back. Okay, cool. He switched it up. He had Orchid cute, but he sees the, he he sees the Manta. Like, Manta's already done on the Morphling. He wants something. He wants the Ame Killer, and that's what that is. We can't leave. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. Dyer's top tower is under attack. BKB now. Just saying. Mid lane. Bubble is up. Radiant structures is a Fine super, that would be, uh, yeah, certainly the, the way to start. He's been sneaky though. 0, 2, and 12, just chilling yeah. back lane. Only died during laning phase. They see the Isle Spirits. Yeah, they're, they're, they're struggling to be able to get in onto their own high ground here. Stupendous! I think I just commit onto the Isle. Okay, I'll take him. Oh, and Global, Global actually gets wasted. Oh, oh Elephant's gotta hide. Run, run and yeah, hide for get 120. Get the hell out, everybody. Run and hide for you two minutes. You've got the Global. It has been used. He has to just wait. Like as he has the global after RP almost every time. That one was just a skewer. He just has to be a little bit more patient. And with that, he has shield GD now will set up for the mid tower and they do have RP at the ready with a BKB on nothing to say. Radiant's middle tower has fallen. Can't be making those type of mistakes. They're looking for a, another kill, as expected. Same yeah. global use, they're just going for action. He's 200 from BKB. They're going to scan, so they know PSG LGD is in the area. Without global, without the BKB on the Mars, could be a pretty tough fight. No vision right now that the LGD has behind the tower. We do see Y sneaking in. He's going to look to place a ward down. It. He's thinking about it. He's He was trying to place a ward too. And again, we have a switch. So Somnus switches it for a third time from the Orchid to the Hex to now. Then gonna go back. Wants to cover himself versus the Annoying Willow. I think the Brambles and everything are very frustrating, so. Why he'd want to do that. And it just lets him commit. Full out commit for a hero. That'd be him. Yeah, name of the game is farm. PSG LGD starting to be able to hit creeps a lot more than they were before. Stacking some ancients. They've got Philosopher's Stone, so they get the natural gold on the Willow. And nothing to say he's going to go for an Orchid of his own. Assemble. We've... Global back Global's up. back. Yeah. All right, now so time to try and make Elephant can now show up. themselves on lanes again. <laughs> Two minutes where they had to just literally yeah. sit back. It's yeah, it's very important. Let's 
Yeah, super drops that. And the Ags is done. Okay. Ame, he's a come here Willow. He's not quite level 18. How many points? Yeah. As we say, that's always the big timing is you get 18, so you have the permanent uptime pretty much. Only four seconds downtime during it. Ame, <laughs> finish that one. And then, yeah, time to turn into, uh, into either Willow. So this is actually a good thing, say, right? Mean, yeah, either Willow or ET. It's most of the time going to be Willow, but oh, some of the situations goodness. Willow might die. So then he can just... You know, he's got a fullback. Yeah, he's, yeah. Got a good, he's got a fullback, exactly. Because that is what happens a lot of the times when I've seen this strategy run, is teams start being like, all right, we're no longer focusing, focusing more. We focus the Willow. Can take the Willow out of the fight before he's able to turn into that Willow. But yeah, waiting for that 18. Might be a fight before Thomas that, though. Thomas is trying to find something, but... Ah, Yang! We get the latch there with the spear, and now... He be forced. Right, he's had to pop it. Oh, mate. It's Charles starting to try and go to work here as the Willow, and it's working. Yang getting pretty low here. Now to back off. Global. Global again. Oh, not... I mean, they've they got to run. They uh, sure do. the Global. Ooh. Oh, nice. Really? Oh, oh. 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 He's under attack. Beautiful, and BKB is wasted on nothing to say. He does have a regen rune, so he was out of mana, but he's going to be able to keep himself healthy inside the fight. And the Bramble's down. And the stop. He still has a BKB, though. Got a BKB ready to use. Hey, it's Thomas. He's actually going to go straight over towards White. Gets himself on top of the Elder Titan. Why? It will go down. I'm not going to get it. Fear over to the side, pushing back Eurus. The Silas kicks in onto the Willow. Fabian comes in onto Yang. Kind of going onto this Mars, but Yang's pretty tanky. Finally pulls out the illusions. Eurus jumps over to Fabian. Arme's off to the side now. Nothing to say in Y. Maybe see if they can get back in on this Y. Did buy back for this fight. This is the most important. This is the most important time in the game for Elephant because they have to secure the second rush. Otherwise, the game is going to start to get more and more difficult as it progresses. Important thing too was Ame was still level 17 when he used the morph there, so it was not that permanent uptime for the Willow. He ran out midway, so he did not really full commit. Now he's got it. So now he's going to be that Willow every single. And they're going again. The fight. And they're going to look again. No they, global. No global. No Mars either. This is uh, yeah. This this could be a difficult rush about these tools at that ability and the elephant no can't really straight up go for the roche whilst uh, PSG with the LGD is as close as they are they lost both of their wards too in the area so now they're playing blind about that high ground and it's a constant scouting ET spirit is constantly looking at them there and it gives you the vision to be able to hit them with that morphling willow so they're not safe even inside the pit on pushing them away with his Phantasm. Oh, and it says it! Time to get the skewer back on Eurus. Eurus will turn a ward. Don't say in fact, just commits onto the Magnus. Don't you say it's a dying. Now with the zip line of the ward, Fate Bjorn Thomas has got the control on the CK. Arme inside the pit. He's got to back off with the wave bomb. He's up the high ground. He's out of there. Yang drops the arena to contain the Willow. This is going to be another kill for them as Jinchu gets speared over towards the ball. Arme still trying to fight. He's looking towards FY. Yang's Rock in the last hit in those. FY is able to get away. Thomas zips over. Global. It's back up. They've got the lockdown. The spears in onto our my elephant they'll be able to take down four. Huge fight. Beautiful global. Great way of just sitting back, resetting. Can go for somebody else. Yang can go for... They can all pick and choose their targets now easily inside of the fights because of this. Yeah, that was a yeah, very painful team fight for PSG LGD. Radiant Heavily and they set forced right it. Now. That's they, the thing, they, they, they were the ones who started it. And they kind of tried to keep it going. I mean, yeah. even up until the last moment, Same was still there trying to, trying to fight back as the morph into the Willow. And... Could do on his own. And there's some a really important interaction that we did get to see, of course, is even though the Morphling's able to hit people with Willow, Yang can just turn Bulwark on and absorb, protect his teammates versus that obnoxious Willow Morphling. Really important that he can do that, especially when he has BKB available, since most of that magic, most of the damage that comes out when you are in that Ag's Willow form as Morphling is going to be magical. BKB, Bulwark, it's not going to take too much damage at all. Tier 2's taken. Somnus continues well on the way towards the, the Hex after the plus down of the BKB. So yes, he's got those usually 23 charges on him right now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's on quite the roll here as the Storm. Now with a smoke up elephant ready to go again. Global, it's up. Both cores are having phenomenal games. 8-0-6, Eurus. 10-2-7, Somnus. Great stuff here from Elephant. Uh, on the day where it really counts, as we said, Elephant fighting Radiant's to bottom get, a, tower is under get a spot in the upper bracket. 
Let's get a chance Dyer's at this one. Long range attack from the quiver. We'll find that courier. Yeah, great itemization. I'm loving what Alphen has got right now. Even going for the Halberd next onto Yang, so he's going to be able to disarm that more flinging into the situation. I think everything so far for them has gone really nice, except for like that one global which slipped up. Everything's oh, got it. Look at that one. Big zip, but why? Whew. He's out. Now he's probably going to buy a dust and replace one of his items with it <laughs> immediately when that happens. He's actually got the gem. It's just a gem. Okay, yeah, even better. Gems an out. Upgrade. For... Yep. Yeah, I like that. Because this is their lineup is all about keeping this pace and just keeping ahead right now, keeping this 10k advantage. Don't let PSG LGD get information out on the map, get that farm going. Because like you said, we do have crazy late game scaling, and right now this is Elephant's gem. This, this, uh, this mid game, with the Ursa with the storm, being able to hunt constantly, and like you said, Hex almost done for the storm. So I'm in game. I'm in. They're, Tough. they're gonna try and jump in on a fake beyond. Uh, with a BKB pop, there's nothing that the rest of PSG LGD can do to push yours back. Starting to fall apart for PSG LGD. A lot of weight on Arme's shoulders damage. here to... Something quite spectacular is the morph, as you say. He's got the tools to do so this game, but the Willow is aside. Look at Somnus though, with the reload coming in too. Doesn't quite have the hex just yet to get the poi done. He does. No escape for Arme. And uh, yeah, he's the one that counts. This morph needs to be able to carry PSG LGD with the way they're falling behind. And it's it on the back of 77. We've seen Nunders say going for an RP in the mid, but the only thing to follow it They're up at damage. all. I'm, su I'm really surprised they got he's just, I mean, he's, they, 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 one of them's dead. Why? He's not getting out. Eurus, one more hit. Oh, did you, oh, the stun. Eurus. He will go down the one. So why no actually one. able to live? Faith Beyond's now turning over to one super, super. We'll push him back with the psychic headband. The stun coming in. Super, is he going to die the illusions? He will. The zip over from Somnus. Elephant will manage to punish Faith Beyond for going out for that kill onto the silence. So now it's three dead on PSG LGD. A weird go by PSG LGD. I mean, that, that, Jumping with the RP without the more. Yeah, that's never really going to work. Maybe feeling a bit desperate. I guess so. They, they knew Ahmed was down for 70 seconds, so nothing to say, just trying something. But now, now there's no RP for the high ground defense. So, That's Rax. Still yeah. 10 seconds Elephant. without the Morph and the Willow. So. Easy Rax, man. Yep. They can't even step up. Eurus, he's got Blink and Abyssal. Nothing to say even steps up, like, even a little bit more. He's just going to get Blink and Abyssal and full combo on. 15k gold lead. Yeah, big, big lead now. Elephant, they... Yeah, they, they've really hit the targets here. We'll see it again. Goes for this RP, but they have the split up, but it's, it's just never. That's that's not going to be enough at this stage to kill these heroes, especially going on Eurus. He still had a minute left on the Aegis. If they did get him the once, it, it, they're going to achieve too much at all and ready to fight. And RP wouldn't have been ready for, for the next one. It's just been smooth now. Good game after that Roche fight, that Roche fight in the area. Yeah, it feels like, it feels like Elephant's cruising. I mean, 27 yep. charges on some. There's a Bloodstone. I mean, one of the most he's having a great time. Him with the Hex, they're jumping forward. Somnus has got the BKB. Not got anything to go for a hippie HFG. They have to back off. Nothing say we'll get out with the BKB. Oh, oh. Yang, okay. let's get put up to the high grounds. To take out the Mars. You have to still be a little bit careful. Not to overextend too much. They did not have Global at the start of that go. Supers came up right in between. Uh, Fully bled now on Arme, oh. so... Might stand a bit of a better chance of bursting someone at the start of the fight. But can stay. also protect teammates versus that Ursa now. Pretty useful. They have to struggle a little bit. PSG LGD, but they, they have their item timing. The thing is that Elephant just has too many good timings yeah, themselves. They're, they're just too ahead. far ahead. Yeah. Yeah. And now BKB on, or sorry, DD Rune on the Storm Spirit 2 on top of that Hex that he had picked up from before that we saw revealed. It's scary for Ahmed to just like, get his split and try to get his farm. It might just be PSG LGD looking for fights right now. They have 15 seconds until Mars is up. Maybe they try to go for something. It's a full Bloodthorn on nothing to say. So maybe with the RP and the Bloodthorn, they'll have enough damage to take someone down during it. They'll try with the smoke, but uh, yeah, everything's Radiant up for Elephant. Awesome. got positioning, able to get that global off again. It's going to make things rather aw awkward for PSG LGD when they attempt the jump. 
He's been on point. Except for the one. Well, I wonder too. He's been on point, but his positioning has been on point. Never getting picked off first. Dyer are scanning. I mean, both, both teams will completely miss each other. Set half to the map. Elephant, they will reveal Yang, just push the wave around, start to look towards that last tier two that stands on the map. Yes, the LGG side of things. They are just getting a bit too far. And there's not really too many solutions for, let me see, the supports don't have the best solution. It's global. Like, why? I mean, he's got a glimmer. He's just going to be global the whole duration. The Willow does have a Yules. Magnus has BKB. Morph has Manta. CK has nothing. So this, yeah, the global is just going to be extremely potent. 37 minutes almost there, though. And I know most people, at least me, tier 4 items are one of the things that do work really well. Versus the silencer, you start getting these flickers. Start getting the uh, Witch Bane to dispel each other, too. Start to get some more solutions these versus Super Global in about a minute or so. Alright, big zip time. Somnus. He's gonna see if he can uh, find Jin Q. He's, yeah, he's, he's gonna committing. go for that. He may have blinked Ooh. up. Ooh, is he gonna keep committing? He's not. No, I can't do that. He doesn't wanna go for the high ground. You don't see Magnus. You, you, the horn toss into uh, in RP. Even with global coverage, he's gonna be able to RP you after oh, the horn toss. Right, they've got the jump. They've got the glow. Oh. They're able to get it onto Arme. Arme's they dead. Quick jump, that'll do the job. Computer Shield, did he get anything in return? Now look at the Yang. He's still got a BKB. He feels threatened top. here, so it's going to be more than okay. Casually stepping his way out of there. Nothing to say, we'll bring it back in. And the BKB will come out. Oh, gets the spear off. Oh, hang on, you're Yurus. Buyback. He's pretty deep here. And indeed, with that Radiance buyback from Arme, Yurus has got to get out. Well, he's tries best to do so. He's on the run. He's actually going to step into the room, though. He gets pulled back by the CK. Uh-oh. And shoots down. Arme's in position. They have to sack him, yeah. Just let him die. Immediate, I mean, Somnus ditched so fast. He knew how bad the fight looked there. I think FY, what, he missed the relocate, right? Or did he get pulled, the uh, steward uh, pulled him and he couldn't get the relocate onto I think so, right. I was trying to say Yang like out. It. Yeah. Ooh, here we go, bye back. Like I guess they, they, they want to fight for the roast. They yep. want they do. But, I mean, if, 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 if the question is, is Juris going to buy back as well? I mean, oh he's my. the big one. He's there for a minute. Oh, and there's a free Agonyms. If Faith Beyond gets a free Agonyms, that's their full global deterrent. Oh, no. Now, he doesn't have a way to dispel it off himself first, initially. True. But, but if he does, he does, then... That's who actually takes it. Right. Oh, and Tomnus is in. He's going to start things. The shift is already moving. If they kill Arme, Arme pull back. He's got Aegis, though. He has got the Aegis, indeed. He's got, and he's got the cheese. He's, he's holding Aegis. everything at the moment, Arme. Right, well, literally can... everything. He's also holding the axe. Yeah, he, he could. could so, who are the most valuable ones? Uh, I think it's got to be. I think it would like CK, CK just because yeah. it make, gives him the mant. Uh, him the but it's also ET. That's the thing, because then the oh, ET can play true. completely different. Actually, maybe the ET then. Yeah, maybe ET. I, I think mean, it's going to be why. Start to build it, but yeah, he's, I'm innocent. Is look. He's like, oh, let's see. Give it a what? No, why, why? Oh, they gave it. A Oh, Mask of Madness on Shin Q as well. <laughs> I, I, saw, I, I thought, I was like, okay, why is getting the Axe and the Mask of Madness? But no, yeah, indeed. Well, because uh, is Shin Q getting the, the, the Axe and the Mask of Madness. If I'm not mistaken, yeah. Shin Q had a component and he sold it. I thought that was why you had a component, so I think you're right. I think it was Shin Q. Uh, Shin Q I, had saw the, I saw an Ogre Club and a, a course. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, oh yeah, that's the ET buying Axe and Mask of Madness. But no, no, it was Shin Q. Shin Q had Ogre Axe, he, he sold it, it and he switched from Axe. Yeah. So now they have double... Double, double Willow. Double Shadow Realm. Double Willow, blasting, yeah. And that gold... That gold lead's gone completely, and that's that blessing, of course, that comes in. And... Ah, a bit of a, yeah, bit, bit, big bit of a swing there. Yep, and a satanic about to be finished for Ame, too, so yeah. another way to dispel. And now, as we mentioned, tier 4 items. So Stormcrafter, that's one of them. Flicker is the other one, and then Witchbane is the other one. So three different items, if they do get them, that will be just instantly dispelling global off of their tier 2. We'll see which one they do get, of course. Prism. Oh, love that. Infinite. Now, now it's no down. Yep. Yeah, now it's permanent. permanent. Yep. There's one of the f <laughs> flicker and <laughs> okay, so they get one of them. That's pretty nice. They got two of them now. They got Stormcraft and Flicker. So Global's gonna be just deleted off of two heroes. Dude, they should have given the axe to the CK. Because then, and yeah, as you said, he could have just flickered. Well, they didn't know they were gonna get the flicker, right? I mean, well, yeah. If they if they had the flicker, maybe they would have given it to him because flicker, and then you just ult and it removes global off everybody. But yeah, so that would have been legit. Yeah, I think that would have been. That could have that could actually be game. Jumping, storm, summoning, big jump. Actually able to solo kill the Magnus. Grabs. I mean, yeah, but Yang's here. 
Jump four, BKB's out. Pretty low. And he's back in play, he's pretty tanky, but with Kuros on top of it. He's on charge, the E-Blade is giving him the protection, he's able to get out with the Ghost Form. That's why. Right. Oh, oh whoa. my goodness. What the heck? <laughs> just like a... Wave, destroyed! Waveform attack target yeah, when you're in Willow form. He literally just died. It's... You're hitting for 700... If you waveform through them, you're hitting them for 1,000 yeah. damage. It's the Willow attack, it's your auto attack, and it's the waveform. So it's quite ridiculous how much damage Well, um, I think when you see that, and the mechanics work together in that sort of strength, yeah. I feel it's like, okay, well, it's actually just GG. Uh, if, that, if, if that's the, uh, the, the damage that's going to be coming out from our mate, that was uh, quite And skewer? Dang! Uh, he's not got BKB. He does not, and he does and not have no buyback. buyback. Oh my goodness. All right, ladies and gentlemen. The SGLGD. Uh, they, they, yep. Uh, they, uh, that, that might just be the end. Radiance yep. Middle Barracks. Oh, okay. Elephant. Oh, Elephant still yeah. has a gold lead, and they still have a win. Uh, they're still ahead in win probability, nah, by the way, on the graph. They're losing two sets of round. I think, yeah, they, they just need to catch up there on the graph. Yeah, they're a just few, a little bit past. A few seconds, and I think you'll see that win probably go... Uh, Maybe, Maybe even up to the 80s or 90s here with PSG LG off the back and of those last three moves. Probably the... I don't think it could have been like scripted any worse there for Elephant at that point where they dive a little deep, yep. they get skewered on the Ursa, he dies, and then Roche respawns and LGD gets a Roche and just wins the game because of it. Yeah. Look how much gold they've gotten now, the swing. And everybody's got a full item on the side of PSG LG. Yeah, that, that graph's still ticking and it's going to keep moving. Um... Yeah, that, that hurts for Elephant now. It's, you, you've lost complete momentum, that, that whole advantage you did have. And uh, yeah, Arme, Arme's ready to kill everybody. He's absolutely ready to kill everyone. Yeah, now he has two waveforms. So, you know, if you wanted to do the math of that one, if he waveforms through a target as a Willow, it's 1,000. If he waveforms through again, it's another 1,000, or more than that even. So he's going to be much just one-shotting these supports if he waveforms through them. Scotty as well. Get yeah. the money. Very rich off that last engagement, Arm. My lord, yeah. Very likely to not die. 53 armor as well. Now they're starting to... Yeah, they just have control of the map. And they deal with their position. They're just like, oh boy. We have a lot of control completely of this game. Even though Somnus is 13, 2, and 10 with a 29 bloodstone. I mean, he's still living in... Uh... He's, he's having a great life, eh? Literally, like, I mean, even Euros is 10, 1, and 7. Like, this is insane. <laughs> uh, I, I don't think they could be doing much better, those no. two. I mean, it's, uh, they're certainly doing their best here on the course. And uh, things are just kind of falling apart around them. Fifth Beyond is 1 and 10. <laughs> Putting those, all these separate things into perspective, right? But he is that sacrifice for his team a lot of the times just to let Ame do Ame things. Yeah, the kills are very deceptive this game, 28 to 17. Yeah. There we go. An elephant. I'm gonna find Fabia. Get out of the fight to start things off. They held the global too, so they did not overcommit for this kill. And Yang does have a refresh on his second go. He's gonna try and zip it for another, but he has been set up in the air. Silence comes out, BKB from Sonnus, he looks to jump over the wards, Arme, the second arena comes into play. Yang has managed to catch them all, but Arme's out with the waveform. Arme now looking to turn, as he shifts into the, the Dark Willow, the damage is done, Yang will fall. With the Bloodthorn, that is, that is just nasty. And D Yang down again. 90 seconds. And that's the double ult. Buyback. They could look for the megas here, PSG yep. LGD. Double ult was used, double BKB was used, global was used. Thomas does get a couple kills there. Does have 31 bloodstone charges, but without those ults. Difficult for them. See what they can do. See if they can catch Y. It always has seen in a Somnus. You always get the two overload attack maps nowadays. Yeah, that's like, what most people are doing. Even in this sort of position where I guess maybe the game is a oh, stop on Urza. And Y. Just put the grab back on, nothing to say. And nothing to say. He's gonna get out to the side. Will still die. Somnus having a kill, but he's pretty much used all of his mana. Somnus has got a back off. Urus will buy back. Urus, he's been caught by Baby and Urus trying to turn, but the damage from Armay is too much. Urus is out for two minutes. This is going to be the bottom racks, and almost certainly the game here for PSG LGD. Oh, These guys are too good. Oh, yeah, Elephant, they, they, got, they got so close to potential victory. I mean, maybe with Thomas Thomas. But he's trying he's his hardest. He's trying his best. Uh-oh, but, but he's been now stunned. he's going to die. He has buyback. Thomas really against the world.
good right now. <laughs> he's trying his he's best. Doing, he's trying his best here, but everybody else is dead. Radiance middle tower is under attack. And that's yeah, that's two for the game. But five seconds. Yeah. Let's see Yang. Let's see. Yang I mean, and the they're game gonna give will respect. Go on. They're gonna give respect. They're back up there. Yo, Yang, and you know Somnus is still so, scary. I mean, Somnus Blasphemous. 14, 3, and 12. Yeah, he, I don't think he could be doing much more. No. He really couldn't, but the whole world is falling around, falling apart around him. Oh, he oh, zip. Actually, oh. oh, nearly yeah. HSA, but again, why there on the TP out? Would have been a big kill, too. That yeah. would have been a dieback. Would have been no ET for about 100 seconds or so. Can, can Somnus carry this as the storm? It's looking yeah. pretty possible. Yeah. They're just yeah. a mega Can he carry yeah. I want to say no. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. He needs more it's help. Hard. It's sure. Yeah, just on his own. Yeah. And the thing is, Yuris is still huge at this point, but they're just... Once his BKB is gone, like, the amount of control that comes up between these... Regeneration. Yeah, Ame just, of of just does insane. a couple of zips across him and he's dead. Yeah. The thing is, Ame also gets... When you're a Morphling, you also get all these different control as well. You have Brambles, so then you have Brambles from the two of them. You have Cursed Crowns that's coming out from the two of them. And he has a Spell Prism, so it's even faster cooldowns. Rush, 45 seconds. Faith Beyond now has a BKB, finally, to cover himself, as he didn't have that the whole game. But he would just, every time he got jumped, jumped on global, he couldn't do anything. Now he's got something to protect him. I saw Shin Q in the last fight, if you saw the way he did the fight. He saw Silencer, he blinked behind him into the base and solo killed him. Seconds. Beyond already celebrating on his CK in the pit, haunting, spamming Radiant his armlet on and off scary. over and over and over again. And they're just waiting. Elephant, they're gonna smoke out, but they're gonna, I mean, these waves are already starting to push in. Somnus is gonna scary. be able to deal with them. This is scary. You should keep waiting. Oh, the brambles, look at the brambles. Just positioned perfectly to block Yours. everything off. Hank's gonna jump in. Okay. They're gonna start the will of Eurus. He's did. already put the BKB. Very early BKB here from Eurus. Very early. He's gonna start wearing off soon. Eurus is he actually able to get any kills out of this? He's gonna get dragged back by Faith Beyond. He's been buffed up by a fly. Thomas with the zip. He's gonna take the okay. bullet, but now the RP comes into play. Arme is gonna turn over the wall to stop down. Sits over the wall to super. Looks for the easy kill. Eurus still getting dying. takes down silencer. Uh, Faith Beyond getting a pistol by Eurus. But indeed, the, the Megas are doing it. Someone's gonna need to defend the Ancient. And they can. Defend the Ancient. They can't. Hello. <laughs> There's a fight going on. They have to. <laughs> and GG is called. It and is. Well, finish off. Well, the there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. PSG LGD. They uh, they certainly made Elephant feel like they had a chance this game. I think. Uh, and then I mean, they Somnus, were like, "Now nah, we're good. We're going to take the win." Somnus played his.